Dear Devin Jim Jordan bombshell letter Biden Archer proves connections Hunter, Jordan rejected claims Joe Biden's brief niceties were simply trivial exchanges but proof of access, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Rep. Jim Jordan said a bombshell 2011 note from then-Vice President Joe Biden to his son's then-business partner, Devin Archer, is solid proof the current president has not been aboveboard in his denials on the matter. On The Story Thursday, anchor Martha McCallum read from the note, obtained by the New York Post, that Joe Biden said he regretted being unable to speak with Archer at an event where he was hosting then-Chinese President Hu Jintao. I apologize for not getting a chance to talk to you at the luncheon yesterday. I was having trouble getting away from hosting President Hu. I hope I get a chance to see you again soon with Hunter. I hope you enjoyed lunch. Thanks for coming, the letter read. Biden then reportedly included a handwritten footnote, happy you guys are together, at the bottom of the letter, which was addressed to Hunter's and Archer's joint venture at an address on Wisconsin Avenue in the Georgetown area of Washington, D.C. McCallum reported that Archer and Hunter Biden were, at the time, trying to put together a business that dealt with government regulatory measures and were working to create a private equity fund, Jordan said the letter is just the latest piece of evidence that the current president did indeed have knowledge of and connections with his son's dealings. Remember, two and a half years ago, we had a former business partner, Tony Bobulinski, say that the email from the laptop said 10% for the big guy, Jordan said. He says, the big guy is Joe Biden. We have the piece of evidence you just talked about there, this note from 2011. We have the WhatsApp messages. Jordan added that Archer testified in last week's closed-door congressional interview that Hunter Biden's value in his business dealings was the Biden brand. Additionally, McCallum cited post-Archer interview reaction from Democrats, who said Archer testified that he and Joe Biden only talked about the weather and other niceties when he was put on speakerphone. She reported that that interview transcript, however, disclosed that such discussions about trivial things like the weather were signal enough to be powerful, citing a particular exchange between Archer and Rep. Daniel Goldman, Democrat New York. Of course, Jordan replied. The whole idea was, to, get the Vice President of the United States on the phone talking with clients and people we're doing business with. Well, of course, they're not going to talk about business. That wasn't what was needed. What was needed is, oh, I can get my dad on the phone who happens to be vice president of the most important country in history, who has a lot of influence in D.C., hey, everyone, do you want to say hello to the vice president? Video on the story. Jordan reiterated that the purpose of Joe Biden's momentary interactions were to prove he was quickly accessible to Hunter. He also cited the now president's own recounting of pressuring to have a Ukrainian prosecutor fired who had been investigating an energy company for which Hunter sat on the board. President Biden was allegedly paid $5 million by an executive of the Ukrainian natural gas firm Burisma Holdings, where Hunter sat on the board. A confidential human source told the FBI during a June 2020 interview, sources familiar told Fox News Digital in June of this year.